Hey y'all, I just want to show you this uh, new bathing system I made myself. It's using, apart from the python, which is a hose that you can drain aquariums with. And what this is, is this is the spout that you put the water in. You hook it up to any kind of spigot. You want something that has good water pressure though, because you, as you turn the water on, it comes through here and the suction pulls in whatever you hook up right here which in this case is going to be shampoo so you have this and this is off this will gauge how much shampoo you want to allow to be sucked in um, you don't want anything too highly concentrated because it'll uh, it'll be too thick to draw in it just depends on your water pressure but what I did at the bottom here you can see the green steps right here this was um, just a regular outlet, so I fabricated a hose on the end of it with a female hose ending. So This part right here is going to hook up to my shampoo, which is just a male part with the hose. Let's see if I'll be able to get it on with one hand. That was giving me a hard time. But what this is, is just a hose, regular hose. I just have like a basic shampoo on the end of it. Um, I'm going to pause this so I can get this on right. Just give me a second. Alright, so I got that on. And now what hooks down here is uh, the hose you're going to use to bathe the dog with. Now, I don't bathe dogs in my wash room regularly, but I'm just using this as an example. Um, right now I don't have a garden hose, so I'm just going to use the actual python that I grabbed that piece from. It's a logo for it. And you just hook that up to the bottom. You just have your sprayer on the other end of it, which is, this is my sprayer that I'm using. So it's going to give me a hard time too. I'm going to pause it again so I can use both hands. Okay, so I hooked this up. This is the other end of it. So now this is this is off right now, but this is the shampoo that hooks up right here. When I turn this on, it's gonna start creating a suction. The suction is gonna siphon out this shampoo. This is off. that's on and it's pushing out quite a bit of soap as you can see it works pretty good and you can um, you can turn it halfway off if you don't want to flood as much soap and it will start you know siphoning out a little bit less and it'll go all the way down to off. Chevrolet, go away. Yep, and that's that's how you would just rinse them. You just turn it off and rinse them off. If you wanna bathe them twice, you just go ahead and turn that baby back on and watch the soap come back out. Never like you step it on the hose. Yep, and there's bubbles start coming back out again. It's pretty effective. Um, of course, it just depends on the concentration of your um, of your shampoo. If it's too thick, it won't get pulled up um, unless you have really high water pressure. But um, it's a pretty basic system. It's just this, you know, the siphon area, the hose goes into the shampoo, this hose goes to your sprayer. And that's what you bathe the dogs with. I like it a lot. It was under 50 bucks. And uh, thanks for watching.